and I'm doing it for my daughter. These new, have you ever caught any of the new martial arts movies? No. They're fucking terrible. Really? Yeah. I want to see it. There is a vast difference between practicing self-defense and actually fighting. Fighting is unpredictable and violent. This was such a wild time. To be effective. Is when this nobody, kung fu movies? Defense, kung fu movies and just... Simple and direct. When people thought all this fake shit worked. Yeah. Before the UFC. Give me your rice. Yeah, give him your rice. I'll take your rice. I calculator. See you later, guys. Surprise opponents. Initiate attack with a front kick to the stomach. Crane head strike to face. Snap your wrist to increase power. Oh, that one. Tiger claw to chin, elbow to Crazy. Crane head. Torque action in the waist will increase power. Lock, then uppercut to groin. Why is he doing it? An open hand like this. <laughs> double punch. Kiss the man. Different targets simultaneously. The old double punch. <clears throat> yeah, double punch and crane. Like, three of those moves were like never again used. Like, uh, mm -hmm. all shit. Doesn't Joe Rogan, like, hate this shit? Yeah. He, like, hates this shit, right? Yeah. That's kind of funny. Man, that was a crazy, crazy time. The 80s and 90s, you could just go to, like, Hong Kong. And if you had, like, if you could, if you were, if you dedicated a little bit of your life to, like, bodybuilding. Yeah. And doing, like, a little, you could like, get famous. There's an exercise video contract in, in it for you. Yeah. Look at the, um. I mean, you could, you could have made yourself, if that was what, if that was your bag, you could have made yourself into, like, anybody in yeah. the 80s and 90s. I think Hollywood like was like hunting for them. Yeah, from the success of Bruce Lee. Well, you've heard this. You've heard the story about Frank Dukes. He's just full of shit. Full, full of shit, and they they sued him. They bought the Bloodsport story, thinking it was a real story. Oh man, which is pretty fucking That's funny. Wicked man. fucking funny. So the story, the Bloodsport Bloodsport movie, which everybody should watch, and is an incredible movie. It's this guy Frank Dukes, who went to the Kumite, which was an illegal fighting tournament where he fought 100 men in two days or something like that, okay? And he can break bricks, he can break glass, he does all this shit. So he wrote, he, he sold his story to a screenwriter, um, and he's the fictitious life of Frank Dukes. Don't click that, because I don't want to hear about this guy, but he said he was in the CIA, he was, said he was a special ops guy, he said all this other shit. They bought his story, they made, they made the movie Bloodsport, and then when they found out it was fake, they sued him, which is funny. I mean, it was a great, why, why sue the guy? He made a great movie, fuck yeah. off. But um yeah, okay, sorry your writers fucking suck dick. Yeah, so Calazans had a, had assigned Frank Dukes something. He had like two sighs and a plaque that was signed by Frank Dukes. And you know, you with this type of shit, you'd never even know. Like Calazans might have signed it himself, Frank yeah. Dukes or something like that. But um and like uh Jean-Claude Van Damme was fascinated by Frank Dukes because he was also Canadian, I guess, or French Canadian or whatever. Yeah, it's a good name. That's a good Dukes yeah. is a cool name. So anyway, it's just uh all this shit. You could have been anybody that you wanted in the whole wide world. Look at the, uh, what, the, hold on, 90s. the brothers, the Barbarian brothers, or the Barbarian twins. Mm -hmm. They live near me in Situate. They're two wrestlers, same thing. Mm -hmm. And they call themselves Barbarian twins. It's kind of like the Liver King now, but nowadays yep. it's a little bit Oh, Barbarian man. Barbarian brothers. David Paul was my customer. Like, these guys, watch oh, this shit. baby. Another frequent visitor to Gold's, David Paul of the Notorious Barbarian Brothers. The reason we first came to California was we wanted to be the best bodybuilders. See, I was from the East Coast, from Rhode Island. Rhode Island is the smallest state in the United States. In fact, it's so small that last year they had the entire state carpeted. Just kidding. Anyway. Um, we because the this guy's funny, we too. We wanted to just get, get big and bre break the stereotypes of bodybuilders. That they're gay, narcissistic, that they look strong, but they're weak. But we tried, but they were all true, so we couldn't break the stereotypes. <laughs> That's what this guy's fucking awesome. Said, What's yeah. going on? What can I do? I've been hopping around like a kangaroo. No, so what happened was... <laughs> these guys are laughing. I mean, this is serious stuff, bodybuilding. 
He's from Situate? Wow, bro. Yeah, he, he came into my fucking shop one day. I couldn't believe what I was looking at. This guy, like, gets out. Like, go to the... the go If you go back... Another... Uh, right there, the David Paul Barbarian brother. He's like, yeah, I'm making an, a UFC picture. And uh, I didn't know there were twins. I thought there was only one of them. So he comes in, he buys like $500 worth of stuff at my store. Uh huh. An old cool deco coffee maker, a big piece of like wood that I had. And he's like, yeah, I'm building a barn. Kind of like mine. Like Gary Busey. Look at that fucking image. That's awesome. Jesus Christ. So he starts telling me that he's making movies and he's a, you know. And he starts asking me if he wants to hang out, and I was like, nah, man, I don't, I don't, I don't hang out with anybody. And he's like, what do you mean? And he got, like, jerked off, and I told him I didn't want to hang out with him. Because yeah. he kind of asked me if he wanted to, like, because oh, I was talking about TV and shit. Yeah. And he was like, oh, I do TV, too. I'm a street poet. And I was like, what? He's like, yeah, man, I'm kind of a fucking street poet. I just, I, I make art with what I see. But now I kind of feel bad, because they were kind of, like, really interesting people. Yeah. But he bought a bunch of shit for me. And then he came and picked everything up, and then he had an Airbnb, kind of like near my house. Yeah. And he put pictures of his, like, girlfriend in the tub, like, naked. Yeah. Look at the, like, she looks like Juliet Lewis on the left. <laughs> Yo, I've, I've, uh, I've seen this guy. Yeah. I saw him at the gym. Yeah. I think you might have been there. Can you, can we keep going and see if there's pictures of him now? Yeah, he looks like that now. Like that one of that him. That emaciated? Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, there was a guy at the gym who had the, it was him. He had the the wrapper on his head. He had his hair was like dripping, like Johnny Depp in Pirates of the Caribbean or something. He was big. He was um, covered in uh, like he had like fucking Robin's jeans or something. Like the he looked yeah like this type of yeah bohemian outfit shit. And he was walking around with his cell phone um, on his head, but the flash was on. And I thought he was like recording people secretly. And I was like, what the fuck is this guy doing? Yeah, he was like bugging. Um, Bugging everybody out, walking around like being a, a weirdo. Basically, is he, is he reared behind the neck pressing three eighty five? I don't know. Do you know how fucking <laughs> like are you fucking are you seated behind the neck pressed three eighty five? Mm. That's got to be a world record. What a crazy! But like like crazy, dude. You look in this guy's eyes; is like holes in his head. Mm -hmm. Um, just a real wild. Had a dog. But then he started doing shit, started talking to me like he was this guy. How strange. And he did this movie. Seen him for sure. Holy shit. Yeah, that's him. That's crazy. So then I'm at fucking Brimfield and I see him walking his fucking dog. And I'm like, yo, you gotta, he brought stuff and didn't take it with him. Mm -hmm. So he gave me like a deposit. And I was like, yo, man, you gotta come get the shit that you bought for me. It's been there for like six months. Mm -hmm. And he's like, I have no idea what you're talking about. And he was the twin brother. I was talking to the twin brother. Whoa. You met. It may, it may disturb you or you're not comfortable, but if I'm happy what is in this that shot? body, doing, His knees? dressing the way I am, being who I am, why not be happy for me and go, hey, that guy's weird, but isn't he happy? <laughs> What's wrong with that? Do you think that's a bad thing to be happy? Huh? But if you went to a mental institution, they're going to go, you know, what's wrong with you? Why are you always happy? We have to give you some meds. You know why? Because you're manic. And then if you're depressed, you know, you're a little depressed. I think we should give you a pill because... You know, you know, you should be much happier. And why is that shirt on backwards? Why, look at my shirts on backwards. You know why? But but I was creating a line of clothes called Inside Out because it's not to the top. The sports in sports. Wow. You're, you, you know. Let's move on. Uh, Let's pick. No, you don't here. need barbarian twins. Oh, barbarian twins.